in the military justice system, students required to complete tests without proper utensils are considered especially heinous. At BGSU, the dedicated soldiers who risk their lives to take on these vicious missions are members of an elite squad known as the Team Backer Unit. These are their stories. Johnson, wake up! Johnson, wake up! Call just in. Captain needs our help. Run up the rest of the troops to meet me in the conference room in five minutes. Quiet down. Everyone quiet down. Listen up. Call came in about ten minutes ago. What we have on our hand is a major situation. Students are about to take a major math test. However, they forgot the materials they need to complete the test. They have no calculator, no pencils, paper, food, water, or hope. It is our job to save the students from disaster so they can succeed on their math test. Without us, the students are in grave danger of failing the test. We must use our mathematical knowledge to help them reach victory. Their future lies in our hands. Hoorah! All right, everyone meet me in the drawing room in 20 seconds so we can go over what we need to do. All right, everyone, pay attention. Pay attention. Listen up. This is mission 11235. Objective, save all personnel from disaster. What we have here is a picture of a diagram. These are our personnel that needs help. This is the school. Our plane is flying at 165 miles an hour, 800 meters above the ground. This is our care package, including graphing calculators, pencils, paper, H2O, granola bars, and a ruler. Okay, what we need to do is figure out the distance, how far we must drop our package so it hits the unit personnel. We need to think about the plane speed and how long it takes the package to hit the ground to figure out everything. Okay, first we want to know how long it takes the package to hit the ground. The formula we are going to be using is T equals the square root of 2Y divided by G. Y is the distance from the ground to the plane. G is gravity. Since we are on Earth, it is going to stay a constant. We know that our plane is flying 800 meters from the ground. 2 times 800 divided by 9.8, which is the constant for gravity, gives us 12.7 seconds, which means it takes 12.7 seconds for our care package to hit the ground. Secondly, we want to know how far away we should drop the care package so it lands on our target. Since our time is in seconds, we must convert everything to seconds. 165 miles per hour is our plane speed. What we want to do is take that 165 miles an hour divided by 60 equals 2.75 miles per minute. Take that 2.75, divide that by 60, and we get 0 .0458 miles per second. Since we know that there is one mile equals 5,280 feet, we take 165 times 5,280, and that equals 871,200 feet per hour. We take that number, divide it by another 60, so that gives us 14,520 feet per minute. Take 14,520, divide that by another 60, we get 242. That means we are traveling 242 feet per second. Now know every second the plane is traveling 242 feet per second. Since it takes 12.77 seconds for the care package to hit the ground, we take 242, multiply that by 12.77, that equals 3,090.34. This is how many feet away from the students we must drop the care package so it hits our target. That is a little over half a mile. Get ready, soldiers. Marco, assemble all utilities into the care package. Johnson, wake up Charlie and tell him to get the big bird ready. We're departing in T-minus three minutes. Approaching the dropping zone. Get ready to drop the goods. On my mark. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Thank you! Oh, I love the smell of success in the evening. Congratulations, team. Way to go. Once again, math was there on our side. Another mission completed and another life saved. We'll catch you again at our next mission.